So today we are doing a creamy parmesan shrimp and scallop pasta a really nice dish especially when it's cold outside it's warm it's creamy so we're gonna start off with some scallops that i got from costco i defrosted them and then i put them on paper towel to dry them out and season them with a little salt you can add salt pepper garlic whatever you like but i just like a little salt in a hot pan with some olive oil or some vegetable oil you can put your scallops in you're gonna get them nice and brown make sure the pan is hot so you get a nice nice sear and they should look like that when you turn them over. I'm only gonna cook these till about medium the way through, and then I'm gonna take them off and wash the pan and start over. I'm gonna start again with my shrimp. All right, so that's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and get these off and put them in a bowl to the side. And we're gonna wash that pan, put a little bit more olive oil or vegetable oil in there, and we're gonna put our shrimp. Now you can put as much seafood as you want in your pasta. It's completely up to you. You can have a little, you can have a lot. It's completely something that's totally up to you on how you want to do that particular part. So that's the amount of shrimp that I put in. Season a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper if you'd like. But like I said, I just like a little salt. That's all I used on mine. And I also used just a little bit of thyme, dry thyme. All right, so that's what that looks like. We're going to stir that up a little bit. And we're going to cook these shrimp till they're about 80% done. And we're going to take them off. And they're going to continue to cook in that bowl. And by the time we put them back into our pasta, They'll be around 90% cooked, so they'll get the rest of the way done um, in our pasta sauce when we're done. So we're not going to use a roux, but what we are going to use is some pasta water. All right, so here is a little bit of white wine. If you have it, add it. If you don't, it's okay. You can also use a little fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice, not that horrible tasting stuff that's not fresh. Okay, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of garlic. I'm using this garlic here that has um uh it comes in the squeeze container you can use fresh you can use that horrible stuff that's minced up that looks like little pebbles of grossness but i prefer to use the either fresh or the um garlic that comes in the, in the little squeeze container all right so i put about a cup of um parmesan cheese and a half a cup excuse me a cup of heavy cream and about a half a cup of parmesan cheese and we're going to whisk it all in to make sure that we don't have any lumps there we go and you can also add a little salt and pepper we're going to add a little dill though and we're going to add a little bit of nutmeg and you can add a little salt and pepper to taste if you feel like your sauce needs it and you're going to allow your sauce to kind of start boiling like on medium um or simmering actually on medium so they can start reducing and then you're going to add your pasta when you add your pasta you're taking it straight from the pasta water with the pasta with the pasta water and that pasta water you know you take flour and water and add it to something it thickens up so the same thing pasta is this pasta is made with flour so with a little bit of water that comes out it's going to help to thicken up that sauce really really nicely so we're just going to go ahead and do that here we go and we're going to just go ahead and cook that together and allow it to reduce on medium to medium low it will come together on its own because that pasta water is going to help it even the parmesan cheese helps to get the sauce to thicken up very 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 nicely so you want to just keep stirring because you don't want any of this goodness to stick to the bottom of your pan and there you go you see how that pasta water has helped to make that sauce get a little bit thicker and right now it's not as thick as i like it but as you sit it there and you let it sit in the little bowl it gets thicker and thicker all right so add your seafood back which is pretty much 95 percent done mix it all in there and there's some water that went into the from the seafood that went into the pasta pot now and that's okay because all that stuff is just going to add more flavor because it is a seafood pasta and when it's finished go ahead and turn it off and you're going to add a couple pats of just cold butter however much that you like and that butter i don't know what the scientific reasoning is for it but that butter just gives it a just nice sheen and just a delicious something you know to the dish it just it's just not the same without the butter all right so when you're done just put a little parmesan cheese you got a little parsley a little more dill to the top add black pepper add crushed red pepper whatever you like and your dish is done 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 all right thank you guys for watching please like comment share subscribe and I hope y'all enjoyed this dish. Bye-bye.